Hello. Always good, good to, to see have you, again. you in the UK. And with such an epic storyline coming to Neighbours. It's me. Hey. Ever since Dee left slash was killed off, have you wanted... Drove off a cliff. And yes. Accidentally <laughs> drowned her. Yeah, good. Have you, uh, have you wanted her return and did you ever think we'd see her again? Uh, to be honest, I kind of feared her return because I, I thought um, I didn't want it to be Eggy because she's died, she's dead. So, you know, someone coming back from the dead is a bit Eggy. You kind of go, oh, I hope this is... Uh. But the scripts that the guys wrote um, are just, they, they, were, they were really, really good. Yeah. Um, and of course, and the performances that everyone has done, um, it's, it, to be honest, it's one of the, it, it's probably the, the piece, of, piece of work that I think I'm most proud of. Could the new baby not be Toadies, which Sonia's having? No. Definitely not. It's definitely not. It's okay. Mark's. Okay. Captain Super Sperm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> One go and it was done. Okay. Mm. Um, and That's and going to make Toadie feel good because he, he doesn't have, his swimmers oh, don't go no. at all. Mm. You don't have the best of like, no. luck with your storylines no. these days. Mm. Um, would you... To the sexy cop too. <laughs> God! I mean... No issues at all. I mean, Mark Brennan, jeez, of all the people on Ramsey Street. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> You could have been the surrogate. God. I, oh, God Far sake. out. Damn it, neighbours. Looking back over the years, you were the fun guy. You were the one who got into trouble. Yeah. Do you kind of miss... I was the one miss... who took my pants off and ran around the street. Exactly. Yeah. Do you miss those storylines? Yeah. Because now you're the responsible lawyer. Yeah. Can yeah. you not have some input and say, guys, it's give about me time back some we fun? took the pants off again. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll probably might see a bit more of that coming down the line. Oh, as yeah. part of this storyline. That's interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, this is a pretty dramatic storyline, so, you know, you've got to have a bit of light and shade, really. What would you say, obviously, all your time on Neighbours has been the hardest storyline to film? Um, well, initially it was the, you know, D off the cliff hmm. uh, storyline. Um, that was, back then, that was, that was one of those moments where it was like, all right, let's see what we can do. All right, let's, you know, take it on and see how far we can go with this um, and you know I, I was really happy with what I did back then um, but you know 13 years later and I've learned a whole new bunch of tricks and you know refined a few others and all that kind of stuff and um, this is probably the you know the the stuff that I'm probably the the most proud of. Do you have to do what like Actors, like not actors, film, but film stars. Yeah, I have do. to do what other actors <laughs> yes, do. Do what other actors do. I have really? to, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. you know, when film stars take on a, a meaty role like that, though, they will go and throw themselves into research and properly study like someone or as characteristics of a character. Have you had to do that kind of thing as well for? for um, this? not necessarily. No, there's not really a lot of a lot of things you can study. You know, oh, it's a good song. What is that? I think someone's calling. Since you were made a permanent character, have you ever at any point come close to leaving the show at all? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, when I was younger, definitely there was, there was times where I'm like, okay, I want to go off and go and have a crack in America or something like that or the UK. And, mm. um, and then, you know, your buddies are going off and doing that as well. And, but then you speak to them, you know, 12 months later and they're like, oh man, I wish I was back. So at the same time you go, well, really, I've got, you know, an awesome job and everyone really wants to come back. So why am I going to go? If they keep offering me, well, then I'll, I'll keep taking it. Yeah. And you are a much loved character, so it does make sense. <laughs> but you haven't still got the dreams to be a commercial pilot then? Is that yeah. something you would... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would, yeah. Would, I nearly went that way a few years ago, actually. A couple no, of years no ago. no temptations at the moment. Hey? No temptation at the moment. To do oh, that. that's always in the background. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's ultimately where I want to be. I mean, you can't always do things for money. You've got to do things for the, the love of things. And I never wanted to be an actor. I actually wanted to be a, a pilot. Um, and there will be one day where I go, okay, you know what, it's time to... You're a long time dead, so you've got to do the things that you really love. Um, 
luckily there's a lot of other things that I really love that I'm doing as well. So I bet. How would you feel about the return of Callum? Because we haven't seen him in so long and he was such a great character on the show. Yeah, yeah. Well, Callum, um, it'd be great... Uh, if he does come back, um, he's not coming back in this storyline. Well, hang on, I might give you a little, ex a little exclusive. Do it. He, he will be coming back. Ah. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. That's amazing. I'm, ex I'm more, so excited. More for the aftermath. <laughs> the little yeah. girl he plays now is yeah. just adorable. Did you guys train her to be that cute, or is she just generally like that? We do wrangle her. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that's, so, that's, she, that's how you, that's what you do is, you, you know, when you've got a, a little girl, you just got to keep going and and uh, and try to get the things out of it. Really. She's amazing so, though. She's yeah. so good. She's so genuinely awesome. Cute. Yeah. Well, yeah. she just seems to have got better as well on screen. She's, she's um, she has discovered or is starting to, you know, now, now we're acting. Yeah. So, you know, she's kind of, oh, so is this acting? You for real, you know, all that kind of stuff. Is that pretend? No, okay, we're just doing this, but yeah. Oh, that's so, so cute. Yeah, that's... so we're gonna pretend to do this. Okay. Is there any actors or actresses who've left the show who you'd like to see make a return at all? <laughs> I reckon, actually, Margot Robbie would be pretty cool. It would be cool to have her. She's funny. Several of your co-stars, such as Margot, have gone to have Hollywood success. Is that something mm -hmm. that you kind of ever wished for yourself? Oh, I would love to get, you know, <laughs> I'd love for someone to offer me movie roles. That'd be brilliant. Yeah. Have without... you tried for it though? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want someone to just offer it to me. Okay. You know, without having to do anything for it. Um, it's not too much to ask. No, please. I mean, really? Come on. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, it's definitely, I have, you know, as I said earlier, I have thought about it, but then, you know, the reality is, is that those things don't normally happen. Mm -hmm. So... You know, I've, I've got a really, really good job um, and uh, I'm really enjoying life. And finally, would you ever do uh, another stint on a reality TV show? Obviously, we loved you on Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah, I would. Um, I mean, the thing about these shows, uh, they are not your usual, uh, you know, average, usual situations in life. Uh, and I'm always up for new experiences. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't do The Jungle because that's just, it looks a bit boring to me. Um, you know, something, some kind of survivor style thing, you know, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Hi. Oh, oh my God. Hey. Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Oh. I'll just leave it at that. I haven't wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. I've got some lipstick oh. on your teeth.